Hey guys, so if you are in the market for a super easy unicorn horn this Halloween, this tutorial might be able to help you out. To do this, I just used Model Magic, which is an air drying, super lightweight foam clay material. It's very easy to work with and will not be heavy when you wear it, so it's definitely a good material to use for something like this. For the first method, I wanted to show you guys how you can make a horn that is a little bit more textured and has the kind of classic curve that is often associated with a unicorn horn. To create this one, I just laid out a very long skinny worm of the material and then as you can see here by starting at the top where the tip will be, I then just slowly move down and curve it around itself, constantly pressing it inwards until you have the entire shape of a unicorn horn. From there you just want to even at the bottom part. I did this by just pressing it down onto the board and making sure that it stayed straight up and then I let that dry. And then for the horn that I wanted to use with my makeup, I did the same of making a ball of it and then rolling it out with my hands to create the sharp point that I wanted. And I tried to just keep mine as smooth as possible as that was the kind of horn I was going for. I trimmed off the end so I would have the right length that I wanted. And then again, I evened out the bottom by just pressing it flat into the board and looking at it from above so that it would stay straight and not get tilted while it was drying. Once it has fully dried, I usually give it overnight just so I can leave it. I then just wanted to correct its shape so that when it would sit on my head, it would be a little bit more appealing and aim upwards as opposed to straight forward. So to do this, I just lined out a little bit of an angle along the horn and then cut that down with an X-Acto knife. This step could be skipped if you just plan to attach it to a headband or a wig, but since I wanted to attach it directly to my face, I just added this little step so it would sit a little bit nicer. From there, you can do the fun part of painting and glittering it up. To start with, I took a metallic white acrylic and just applied that all over. This would just give the horn a little bit of a sheen for anywhere that glitter will not be covering. I did find it very helpful for this process to spear my horn on a little sculpting tool I had, but anything that you can MacGyver would definitely work just as well. And I did about two coats of that paint before moving on to adding the glitter. This one is just a basic craft store glitter in silver. I applied it while the paint was still wet so that I didn't really have to worry about adding glue at this point. And then just to fade it upwards a bit, I applied a little bit more of the glitter sparingly with a brush and carried the glitter up the horn. Two other glitters I used were from NYX and then I also used a clear Krylon UV resistant spray that could just act as a sealant as well as adding tackiness because by this point the paint was dry so I needed something for this glitter to stick to. I used a holographic silver glitter. This one had rainbow reflex in it, whereas the craft glitter was just basic silver. So I applied this over where the silver was as well as continuing it up further up the horn. This just made it so that when it catches light, it reflects a ton more colors than just a simple light reflect. Then for the very top of the horn, I took a white glitter that has a green and pink reflect to it. So this one I could carry up a lot further and it would keep the white feel of the horn but add a lot more shimmer to it along the top. From there, I wanted to really seal in all the layers of glitter that we've added. So I did a really thick coating of the UV spray and then I did it again. This does actually take down a lot of the shininess. So I went back and just repeated the same steps with the holographic glitter and the white glitter, of course blocking the camera with my arm because I'm a genius. And there you have a very simple unicorn horn. You can do the same steps for the curled horn and to attach it, I just use prosate adhesive or spirit gum if you have it. The tutorial for the makeup and applying will follow. So until then, thank you guys so, so much for watching.